Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have received several requests to do a more in-depth review of my Burberry trench coat. This was a recent present, early Christmas present from Santa, and so I thought that's what I would try to do for you today. I am going to change the camera angle and step back so you can see how this coat looks on me, but before I do I just wanted to tell you a few details about the coat. So um, this is the coat. I'll step back and just show you um, all undone. It is the Burberry Kensington Trench, which I believe it says right inside the tag here. Um, I have it in the color stone, and this is the mid-length Kensington Trench, which is part of the heritage collection of trench coats by Burberry that are made from the cotton gabardine fabric that um, repels moisture and can be worn year-round in all kinds of weather. And um, I went for the color stone because I just wanted something lighter than, um, I was kind of torn between stone and black actually. I wanted something neutral but light enough to be able to wear in the springtime and the somewhat darker color that I think is the more popular color, um, actually, I'm trying to remember the name of it, I think it's called Honey, um, kind of washed me out. It's about the same tone as my skin and um, it just didn't look as good on me, so I decided to go with the stone and it actually went on sale at Nordstrom on Black Friday and I believe they still have some trenches from Burberry on sale if you're interested. You can definitely check out their website. So I am going to um, now just put this on, button it up and step back and kind of try to show you a bit of how this coat looks on me. I did size up on this. This is a size 10, European 10, which I believe is about a US size 8. Um, and the reason for that is I was kind of between sizes since I am a little bit larger on the bottom than on the top. Um, I typically will go up in coats to kind of fit over my hips, uh, allow myself a little bit of extra room, but also I'm intending to wear this coat to work and so I'm probably going to be wearing it over a lot of jackets and things like that and I seem to be doing this button wrong. <laughs> I have to actually look, I was putting it putting the wrong button through the hole, there we go. Um, so I'm just gonna step back and adjust my camera and try to show you kind of how this looks on me. And most often I will probably just be belting it, um, instead of doing up the belt, I'll probably just be kind of tying a knot with the belt. So here is how it looks, I am about five foot three. And what I liked about the mid-length is um, the waist, I have a short waistline and um, this waist kind of hit me at the right place, so I really liked that. And you can button it um, all the way up. I would have to undo this. I believe this is called the storm flap um, to kind of button it up there, but I just want to show you the really cute collar detail with the Burberry check there, which you can wear up as well. I will probably most often wear it just with the flaps open because I like the more casual look of that, um, but you can kind of do it either way. And then stepping back, I'll show you the other way. I will probably be wearing this coat quite a bit. You can just open the coat up and tie the belt in back of you. I'm gonna do a bad job at this, but you'll kind of get the picture of what I'm trying to accomplish here. <laughs> um, if you tie the belt behind you, you kind of give it more of a feminine shape to the coat and you can just leave it open and wear it just like this, which is a little bit more casual. Um, but like I said, I will probably be wearing this work to this coat to work quite a bit more. So um, I did I do have some low heels on with these jeans um, just to kind of show you how it would look. And I'm wearing kind of a mid-weight cashmere sweater as well. Um, but you could always throw on a scarf. And here I've just got the wool. I think it's a wool and silk blend Burberry scarf that um, looks so nice, of course, with the coat. It's very similar to the check lining on the inside that I absolutely love. And um, I also threw in my Speedy here so I could show you how this all kind of comes together. I absolutely love this. And I went for, you probably can't see from that far away, but I do have kind of a plum color shoe on. Um, just to kind of brighten things up since I wear all neutrals all the time. So um, that's pretty much my Burberry Kensington Trench. Again, this is in a size 10 European, which I believe is about a US size 8. I am about five foot three, and um, this is the one I went for. I did have to have the arms shortened, um, and they are a little bit bigger, which allows 
some room to wear bulkier items underneath. I know this coat um, or the Heritage coats come in three different styles. There's the Sandringham, which is more fitted than this coat and has much slimmer arms. And then there is the um, Westminster, which is more of a classic, larger style or roomier style, I should say, trench coat. And this one was a nice happy medium, kind of modern enough um, for me to like it even more. And just really overall fit me the best. So if you have any questions regarding this coat, I'd be happy to answer. Please leave that in the comments below. And otherwise, hopefully this was helpful and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.